What's going on guys, welcome to today's video, so today guys, I've got a chest and tricep workout for you guys, which I'm going to take you guys through, um, the last video actually did pretty well with the, uh, was it, arms and shoulders workout, where I, no, 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 the leg day workout, where I took you guys through, explained all the moves and stuff, and little tips and tricks, and I feel like that, um, you guys really liked that, so I'm going to do that again with this video, I'm going to do a commentary, and uh, basically just take you guys through the movements again, giving you guys my tips and tricks, so basically, uh, with that said, today uh, is split one again, so we're doing five rep max now on bench for three sets. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take you guys through it, so let's get the day started. Alright guys, so currently cooking some uh, chicken breast now. Uh, chicken breast, and this is like something which you guys haven't really asked for, but this is what I'm trying to do this series, I'm trying to make it more informative. So basically with my chicken breast, guys, what I like to do is I like to add uh, peri peri spice to it, which obviously guys... If you guys don't know me, I'm a Nando's fanatic and I absolutely love Peri Peri, so I like to use the um, Nando's medium flavoured uh, Peri Peri rub, which is basically what you can put on loads of stuff. I also have Nando's uh, Peri Peri medium sauce, that's what I use as well, because like, I just love them. I mean, obviously, the sauce is a lot higher in calories compared to obviously, like, the actual uh, spice, but um, obviously, if you've got some calories remaining, add a bit of sauce to it, just add a bit of flavour. And yeah, basically, I'm also having some uh, wholemeal pasta and some broccoli and kale and that is going to be my uh post workout meal i'm currently like meal prepping it then when i come back from the gym i can eat this but I currently just had a protein shake with uh this whey protein which i'll show you now okay guys so the whey protein i like to use for protein shakes is this ultimate whey 6000 uh 500 i'm a bit of a weird name i know but uh pretty much i'm pretty sure you guys can pick this up on amazon if you want to use it basically this is a strawberry flavored whey protein uh the carbs on it is 5.2 grams and the fat 0.4 and also has 3.6 grams of bcaa in it and uh yeah basically guys this one i like to use for uh, protein shakes i just had one of these right now put a scoop in with about 300 milliliters of milk and then that was basically my little protein shake before i go to the gym so i i normally have that guys because i feel like i prefer that flavor compared to the other whey protein life which is a uh, my protein raspberry flavored whey protein but in preference, you're probably better off going with a uh, my protein products because the fact is that's a more trusted product. Like I'm not saying that you know, obviously, I can't trust this. I mean, to be honest, guys, obviously, this isn't like an actual uh, company. I don't think it is. Well, it's JBC Ultimate Way. I mean, obviously, the name doesn't exactly sound like very trustworthy, but uh, yeah, it tastes good. I've never, I've never had really a problem with it, so that's why I use it. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to pick that up, go on. Uh, Amazon, I think, pretty sure it's on Amazon. And with that said, guys, uh, if you noticed, I've got the new Gymshock on today. This is the Black Onyx V2. Uh, by the time you're watching this, it's, uh, it would have been out for a while, but currently, right now, it literally only just came out like yesterday. So, anyway, that's the new Gymshark. My thoughts on it fits perfectly. Uh, personally, I find that Gymshark fits a lot better compared to other companies such as Alpha Lee. I've never tried my protein clothing, but I have looked and I will probably try it one day. So, I mean, my protein, you're probably not watching this, but if you are, I will try your clothes out one day. They seem like they're actually quite good, decent clothes, and you have an extra small size. So, who knows? Your joggers may be my perfect match because, well, if you guys are OG subscribers, you should know that I absolutely hate Jimmy Sharp joggers and Alpha Lee joggers because the fitting is awful on them uh, for people who are under 5 foot 8 or Five foot eight or under, basically. I'm five foot eight, by the way, guys. So don't be thinking I'm like some short guy. I mean, I am short to be fair. Like five foot eight is not exactly tall, but bear in mind, fifteen years old, still got time to grow. And if not, I'm cool with that because, yeah, you know, it's just your height. It's your genetics. You can't change your height. So my emotions to my height are like gone. I mean, I think I did make a rant saying about how I hated my height on an earlier video, and if I did, well. I'm over that, guys, so don't worry. But, uh... Alright, guys, so I apologise for the bad lighting, but... Uh... Alright, guys, so I apologise for the bad lighting, but I just feel a few things need to be addressed about this video. So, first off, the workout is a bit of a mess, guys. I, it's because I was not really feeling 100% uh, that day, and I kind of just completely uh, forgot to record some clips, etc, etc. So, basically, guys, what I'm trying to tell you is, is that uh, today's a commentary, but uh, some of the clips 
uh, are not in time with the commentary, if that makes sense, guys. So I hope you guys can understand that. But I have literally, guys, tried my hardest to make it as much as I can informative for you guys. So then that way you guys can take something away from this video. So if you guys uh, are eager to uh, learn how to lift and, you know, etc., guys, please just, even though obviously it's a bit of a pain because it's not matching what's showing, listen to what I'm saying, guys, and just try and visualize it, if that makes sense, guys. So I... My apologies for a uh, complete mess. Uh, next time I make a video, which I don't know when that'll be because of school now, um, I'll make sure that I have enough clips to fill the whole commentary. So, yeah, just wanted to address that. All right, guys, so basically, I'm going to kind of speed through this commentary slightly just because, uh, let's say there's a lack of video clips, I kind of forgot to film the incline uh, dumbbell bench press, which I will get to later on. So I'm just going to kind of whiz through it as fast as I can. I've got my notes here, so I'm just reading off it, so then I'm informing you guys a lot better. Obviously, I'm going to add in a few comments and etc. So anyway, uh, first off, guys, with chest... Uh, this is my chest and tricep day, by the way, guys. And uh, first off, just to let you guys know, there is no such thing as upper chest, middle chest, and lower chest. That is not a, um, a thing whatsoever. You have a pec major and a pec min uh, minor muscle. And basically, they make up the chest, really. But the chest as a whole is more it's just one muscle, if that makes sense, guys. So uh, basically, for a pec minor, you normally do decline movements. That normally targets the pec minor. But um, obviously, flat movements still target that as well, kind of. It's just um, when you're doing flat movements, you're working the chest as a whole, if that makes sense. And then obviously, pec major is more incline. But a lot of uh, flat movements also work the major, if that makes sense. So that's just a little quick overview of the chest muscle. Right, let's, get straight in, uh, let's get straight into it. So, first exercise I did, well, it wasn't really an exercise, it was uh, stretching my rotary cuffs just to make sure that I can maximize the activation of my chest. Because um, basically, guys, I've started uh, implementing this into my workouts, and I find that it really helps to make sure that you're able to maximize the weight you can do on the bench and just generally the movement itself. Um, I picked up on a lot of things, guys, recently with bench, so let's get into it. So, first exercise was flat bench press and now i went for five sets guys two being a deload and three being for strength so the first set guys which you can see here was no weight and uh pretty much i did that for 12 reps then moved on to 35 kg each side because the this is my split one again guys i'm going for five reps each so this was uh 35 kg for the second set and then 37.5 kg for the third and then 40 kg for the fourth now if you guys don't know what i mean by that i'm basically trying to tell you guys that basically I'm when I say that way, I'm meaning on each side. If that makes sense, guys, that's the way I personally prefer to meant like say it. But obviously, if you want to work it out, uh, the last set was two twenty five, and then probably two oh five, and then one ninety, roughly something like that in pounds. Anyway, guys, um, total for weight. So then basically that was uh, the f my free stream sets, and then my last set was a deload set where I went to I think twenty five. I don't think I actually recorded this set, so it probably would have moved on by now, guys, on the video. So basically what you guys should be looking at now is probably the only clip that I got from Dumbbell uh, Incline Dumbbell Press. So pretty much guys, I'm just gonna whiz through this just because it's gonna move on to cable crossover really quickly. It's probably already done it right now, but just get through it. So incline dumbbell press guys. I like to focus on the reps and uh, this is like a little kind of I guess it's kinda of like a circuit, but it's not a circuit at the same time, but pretty much I uh, like to do first set, three rep max, and then basically, guys, I drop the weight down to by 4kg roughly. Then I get another pair of dumbbells, and I go straight into it, and I've got to beat that, re um, I've got to beat three reps. I've got to, like, get four or five. Like, it's really hard, guys, and really tough, I'm not going to lie, guys, but honestly, I feel that's one of the reasons why my chest muscles have actually grown quite a bit like, recently. Like, 225 pounds I hit a few weeks ago, and uh, it's just been amazing since then, and I really think this is one thing that... You guys could input into your workouts if you want to up your be uh, chest gains. So, with that said, yeah, keep rest to zero, kind of, and just make sure that your fists are facing the roof or well, your knuckles. Uh, also, that could be applied to bench, guys. Really try and keep your knuckles facing the roof if that means makes sense. So, that's that done. The third exercise: decline cable flies, at which we um, basically, guys, we did decline uh, cable flies and then drop set it. And then uh, followed by normal cable flies and drop set it, and uh, pretty much we we're just trying to target the pet minor here, because obviously uh, cable flies is an isolation movement, so it's more focused on the volume if anything. So if you guys want to do this movement, guys, make sure you're focusing less on the weight and more on key, uh, the contraction and the activation. So that's basically my advice there, guys. Um, as well as our advice is trying to maybe. Yeah, low weight guys, just focus on low weight with this guys. I would not try and go for high weight on this because you are likely going to tear 
one of your pecs or even possibly a rotary cuff and you do not want that because if it gets seriously injured you could end up having needing a surgical procedure so yeah that's the exercise done now this was um quite a short workout but it was more focused on the volume of the workout that makes sense guys less than the actual like length actually no yeah it was more focused on just my strength really today guys so it wasn't much like volume so anyway fourth exercise was a superset of tricep pull down and try um on the bar and the rope so uh pretty much did five sets guys each on here and basically guys just for this little bit here um i'm gonna put a little clip here guys of basically me doing cable cross um tricep pull down from a while back and uh, basically guys you can just see quite a difference here so these are quite a few tips i've learned recently guys to improve my uh tricep pull down because i feel like my triceps are one of those muscle groups which i really hit the nail with um recently so pretty much what i like to do guys is um keep my chest up slightly push the bum out <laughs> and then basically just make sure you keep in control of the rope or the bar because um that's literally key guys like obviously i do try and up the weight a lot and just try and like make sure i'm pushing for those reps with it but guys honestly make sure you're control the weight that that can be said for any exercise you need to make sure you're control the weight because if you're not guys you're likely to break down your form like i don't think there's anyone in the world unless like you're massive who um well, you're massive <laughs> unless like you're a he quite heavy weight where you're able to do such heavy weight and control it like no sorry that's literally against my point i mean guys like a lot of little kids guys these days are trying to like lift really heavy weight and they're breaking on their form and they need to stop guys so pretty much don't be one of those guys um obviously you know if you know you can do it go for it but just make sure you're controlling your form and watching what you're doing because that is the most important thing and i cannot stress it enough so with that said hope you guys enjoyed this commentary i'll see you guys later all right guys so basically you just saw the commentary there so i wanted to end the video here guys pretty much so basically Hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. But before I just say goodbye, uh, I just want to bring up like uh, if you guys could leave some comments about what videos you want to see. If you're finding these informative kind of videos a lot better, uh, please let me know guys because I am trying to sh like put a massive stress on information in these videos now. So uh, yeah, pretty much guys, just let me know. And also tell me what you guys think of the new intro song because I mean... Um, obviously, I probably will go back to normal one if it's copyrighted, but uh, you guys will basically know if it's copyrighted anyway. But uh, yeah, please just let me know if you like this new intro song. If it's uh, if there's no sound there, basically, guys, that's YouTube copyrighting it because YouTube have all of a sudden become mean. I hope I don't lose money from that. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't make money on these videos, guys, yet. And, uh, I mean, I'd love to turn full-time YouTuber, but that probably wouldn't happen for a while or possibly not even happen. But I don't care because this channel is about getting you guys motivated and getting better. So, now with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.